Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, it's your girl Cindy Blue with yet another makeup tutorial and I'm starting off by priming my eyelids with the Avon concealer and this one is called Fair. So I'm just making sure that I apply it all over that eyelid space just to help my eyeshadow shades not to crease and also just to help them last a little bit longer and of course for the eyeshadow colors to pop out a little bit more and then I'm just going over that concealer with my finger just to blend it up more evenly. Next, I'm going in with the I Got You Edition from Beauty Glaze. And I'm going in with that eyeshadow called Pumpkin Baby. And I'm just going to apply it all over that eyelid space before jumping into the next eyeshadow shade. Mainly because that's going to act like our transitioning shade. Then I'm going in with that purple shade called Amethyst. And of course, I'm also going to be going in with the Beauty Treats eyeshadow palette. And I'm using that black eyeshadow shade. And I'm basically combining both of them together and applying them at the same time. Just to help. Because uh, I don't want too much black in it. So I just wanted it to be slightly, slightly darker. And then once I'm done blending all that out, I'm going to be going in with that adding any product on the brush that brush that we used to apply the pumpkin shade I'm just gonna blend out basically blend the two shades together so there's no uh, so that it looks a little bit more blended that's what I'm trying to say then I, next I'm going in with this very same concealer that we used to prime our eyelid and I'm basically gonna be cutting the crease with it and also kind of like help clean out that area a little bit more then going back in with our previous brush of the purple and black shade just to clean out that um, outer corner and then after that going in with the pumpkin shade as well just to add on to that and then after that I'm going in with that shade called creamy and yeah so once I was done applying that just on the center um, just where we apply that pumpkin shade again I'm going in with that yellow eyeshadow and then of course to line my upper lash line and wing it all the way out I'm gonna be going in with the essence eyeliner pen and let's not forget to also add a little bit of drama into that <laughs> eyeliner on top of the eyeliner and I just went in with that yellow and the peach shades a touch of mascara lashes on and of course the same eyeliner on the lower lash line for the face I'll be going in with the elf mineral infused face primer and I'm gonna be applying this before jumping onto the foundation which so happens to be one of my favorites right now I am so digging this foundation you guys I cannot tell you and of course the foundation I'm talking about is the Huda Beauty foundation and this one is in a cinnamon shade and this one is a 440G and I just love how it sits at first on the bottle it looks like it's dark but once I apply it on my face I'm just like wow BAM it just sits on there so well it feels so smooth need I remind you that at first when I apply this foundation i was like wait where, where did that product go because it's so hard to tell that you're actually wearing anything and it's waterproof yes so when i was washing my face i was like wait a minute i can't see the foundation because normally you would be able to like see the foundation once you wipe it off so i guess that's why they say it's waterproof and of course i'm gonna be using another new product and this one is from fetty beauty baby and this one is a match sticks trio medium 200 and i'm starting off with that shade called bamboo of course it's a lighter shade and this is gonna be my concealer highlighter whatever cream concealer cream highlighter and i'm just applying it on those areas that i would normally highlight and contour believe it or not because i find like the highlighter like the a lighter shade of concealer helps the contour to stand out a little bit more so of course i applied it on the apples of my cheeks actually on the hollows of my cheeks underneath my eyes my bridge the bridge of the nose and my forehead cupid's bow and my chin and as you can see here i'm just going back in with the same beauty blender sponge that i use for my foundation just to blend out that concealer a little bit more and of course this concealer hence um it's a it's matte yes it's matte so yeah it actually seemed to sit very well on top of the huda beauty foundation but i would actually like to try it out with the several more uh foundation because kind of like the formula of it is like i don't know how to explain that but we'll see in the next one but i just love them separately 
that's what I'm trying to say separately they work but yeah together well hmm, it worked but not the way that I would actually expect it to look and then next I'm just going in with that shade called mocha or mocha and this is a darker shade I guess this is what I would use to contour as you can see um they actually don't explain it to you on the packaging you just have to kind of like figure it out what works for you so I'm just gonna be using that mocha to kind of like um darken those areas that uh that are big that I want to you know not to be too visible that would be in the size of my nose my forehead and yeah that's basically it and then next i'm just gonna be going in with the cryolan translucent powder basically um just to mattify the rest of my face and yeah a touch of mascara and i'm using the smudge lengthening mascara and yeah touch of that and my eyes are basically done for now so next i'll be going in with the kylie cosmetics loose illuminating highlighter and of course this one's like a powdery form and i'm just gonna be highlighting the nose basically and put that on hold jump into the blush first and i'm using the dreamy bell collection blush and i'm going in with those two shades right there one just to kind of like subtle subtle or tone down that pink screaming pink shade and apply that on the apples of my cheeks and of course um we're gonna again be jumping back into that kylie um illuminating highlighter loose powder loose highlighter yes applied on top of that blush and on my cupid's bow and that will basically be it then for lastly for the lips i'll be using the elf um lipstick and this one is called fantasy nice soft brown is shade and then after that i'll be going in with a kiko milani lip gloss same shade and voila i mean that was pretty easy and pretty fast i certainly hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and until next time thank you so much for watching bye bye